Street Plans Control Center is accessed from this gear tool. The Control Center has videos that you can watch for tutorials. It has tabs, how you log in is here. This is how you input your land use and transportation context so that it can provide red, yellow, green uh, recommendations. Back to help, if you push on this how to start, it has pop-up tutorials and as you walk through those it points to things to show you how to use the tool. If you want to see the American Planning Association's top rated streets in the United States, you click here. Let's look at this one in Ogden, Utah. So you highlight it and click on it. it takes you to it and you can see a depiction in street plan of that street in Ogden and, and then also a Google um, Street View map where you can click in and spin around. If the street you're designing is considerably different than this one, then you can go to My Street here, um, and it has templates where you can look at uh, different uh, designs. So say you want to do something that's kind of close to this residential boulevard. What you do is right-click, copy, done over here, right click paste, done, and you'll now have uh, your original street plus a new street here that has that boulevard in it. So done. Now there's this boulevard you can work with. You can say I don't really want the bike lane in the center. I would like to have it over here on the side. Um, that's integrated with the sidewalk. Or you can say I'd rather have it integrated with the street and notice the pavement is too high so if I click on that I can there's this checkbox for raised pavement if I lower that um, four foot is really narrow when it's actually on the street so I'm going to raise that up to six feet and and now it gives me a green that says six feet is okay for something like that I also would like to have a bus, so I'm going to add new transit. Show a bus line as available. My bus is going to operate in mixed traffic, so I don't want to show only a bus there, but I'd like to also show um, a car behind the bus to kind of create that impression that uh, it's a general use lane but also has transit in it. I'm going to delete this parked car because I'm not going to have parking on here. So I will copy the right side over to the left side. This is saving me quite a bit of development time. I only have to do this once and it sets up the left automatically. Notice that when I added the bus and, and the widened the bike lane that the right-of-way title here turned red as did the foundations under my buildings. That tells me that I don't have enough right-of-way for the things that I added, so I'm going to go here and change that to 124. Maybe this is a greenfield area where it's easy to increase the right-of-way if I would like to. So then that now has made the red go away. Um, everything fits. Actually, I think I want to make the right-of-way even larger, 130. That gives me now a new three feet on each side uh, and I have to find a way to fill that up so uh, maybe my park strips are not wide enough. I could also widen this other tree but I'd like to change this tree. I don't like the style of tree so I'm going to choose uh, a palm tree in the south. Now I'm going to copy this palm tree and come over here and paste it. And I'm going to delete the previous tree. Delete. This blue triangle is a median marker. I'll show you how that works. It doesn't need to actually be the median, so if I wanted to make a one-way street, maybe I'd go over here to the edge and make something else my median. So I'm going to click on the palm tree and say that's my median. What that does is causes everything to flip and go the other direction. If it's on the left side of the blue marker, it's coming towards you. If it's on the right side of the blue marker, it's going away. I can change markings and pavement type. So let me go here. I'll show you how that works. 
So on this markings, maybe I really do want this to be bus only. Um, and I would rather have a different kind of material so that it is more clear that this really is for buses only. So that should be enough to get you started on how to use the main window.